Hello everyone, I am back in part 2 of my Mob of the Dead gameplay, and I'm just in this shower area still, and I'm actually going to fast forward this just a little bit, and head out of here. And I think we're about to the end of this round. Uh -huh. Let's see. Yeah, it's the final zombie, I believe, and those guys were just working a little bit on grabbing perks and doing something right here. Oh, they were, looks to be uh, grabbing the part for the plane right here and doing the dial. Yeah. They just finished that up, and the part for that is right down here, and you open these doors. And there's actually a rope on the ground right there. Um, I had a part though, so I couldn't grab it. But um, that is another part for the plane. And the first part that I showed you guys was in the uh, beginning of this uh, playthrough. And it is in that little laundry area. You have to turn on that uh, washing machine and then when it finishes its cycle the door will open and you can grab those clothes out of it and I was just coming down here and taking out some of these zombies before going into afterlife to turn on the jug machine and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the other locations of the plane parts here in a few minutes and I'm really happy they brought the uh, fire sails back in here they are uh, definitely real nice. I can't shoot without slugs. And right here I'm going into afterlife to turn on jug real quick and activate the gondola also. And right there, those are on. And revive myself real quick. <laughs> I should have probably zapped that zombie away from me. But uh, anyways, that still worked out okay. And double point new. That was a fucking blast and then some more. Alright, and we've got Jug now. And we're going to continue getting the plane pieces. There is one down here on the docks and we still had to figure out how to get this one. We didn't know exactly so it's gonna be a little bit until we get to that one. And my friend right there just got the blunder gat which is the new gun out of the box. And <laughs> I'm using this Tommy gun. I love this. It's awesome. Load up. Box is giving out free stuff. And that, however, is not so awesome. I believe I was headed out of here in a minute to go. Look for another part. I'm only finishing what you started. Oh, that sucked. Oh, damn it. That was bad. I should have fucking bailed to the right instead, but that uh, didn't turn out so good. So I got to go up there and get Juggernog again here in a moment. Fight my way back up there. And I should have reloaded before hitting that. Okay, here is another dog that you have to feed. And once you feed all three of the dogs around the map, you get the 
Hell's Retriever unlocked, which is in the basement area. Uh, just above that spiral, or yeah, just above the spiral room above the docks. You just follow that up, and there is a sign on the top of it with three red dog heads, and uh, each of them will be glowing sort of on fire after <laughs> that one's been uh, done. So once you do all three around the map, uh, it activates that and opens that room and you're able to grab the Hell's Retriever and I also just got my ass kicked there for not having Jug. <laughs> this was not one of my best games. I've got uh, a couple other real good games that I'm going to be uploading after this one and working on a little bit. Um, I wanted to try and get more gameplay out fast but I have a really bad internet connection so I'm just not uh, able to upload very much gameplay. Unfortunately I'm only able to upload one or two videos a day and uh, so that kind of sucks but anyway so I'll just have to make do with that for a while because there aren't really any good internet plans where I live so that's alright though I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll just have to upload a video or two every night and I'll keep bringing gameplay when I can guys I am trying to do a uh, little bit longer videos for uh, Mob of the Dead right now because I really wanted to get out some gameplay quickly for you guys so, uh, and I also still need to finish my video on the rest of the Easter egg. We finished most of it so far. We're just finishing it up now. So I'm probably going to upload that after this gameplay. So, be looking for that in the next few days, guys. And also, I'm going to have a video on the location of the bottles for the uh, Easter Egg song. And the song is Rusty Cage by Johnny Cash. So that is the song. We're able to find all of the uh, bottles to turn that on today. And I'm also going to have a quick video coming out on the location of the parts for the shield and the location of the parts for the acid gat upgrade kit which is a kit that you can put on the blunder gat to <laughs> turn the uh, shells into acid bottles sort of it launches these little acid things that stick to the zombies or walls or the ground around them and it shoots out three at a time, I believe. And then they blow up. And, uh, they, like, just releases green acid. And it's really awesome. It just destroys all the zombies around it. And it's got a lot of shots also. So, it is an awesome gun. And when you upgrade it, it's actually even better. So, uh, I'm gonna be doing a gameplay with that here in the next few days also going into detail of that and the death machine and w the death machine upgraded turns into the meat grinder and has 1100 rounds of ammo total <laughs> so you really can just destroy whole mobs of zombies at a time but the only downside of it is you walk incredibly slow with it. Maybe like half the normal speed. So <laughs> it's really pathetic. It's like you're walking around and prone all the time. But um, that's the only downside to that. But you can just switch to it when you need to mow down a bunch of zombies. And then have another gun to run around the map with. That is probably the best way to do it. There's a max ammo on that cage right there that you're able to grab in afterlife mode. You can turn on a uh, little electric box right next to it and power that door to open it. And then you're able to grab that max ammo. 
And this door right to my right here, <laughs> I kind of turned my back to it, but that door is electrified and you have to t do a uh, little series of events down on the docks. You have to go into afterlife mode and shock a few things to destroy a generator down there and that turns off the power to that door and you're able to go in there then. Because otherwise, if you just walk up to it and try to click anything to try and go through it, it just shocks you. So, it will not let you through that way. And, let's see, the other parts, one of them is up by Deadshot Daiquiri, up almost to the roof. And, the other one, let's see, which one I'm missing? The propane tank is down there by the generators. And the steering wheel is by Deadshot Daiquiri. And then the uh, generator is right here in this room next. So those are the other three I'm missing. And the first two, the one was in that uh, rounded spinny room. You have to activate uh, Afterlife at the top of the room and run down that spiraled column. And uh, you have to look at three numbers on a wall on the way down and once you get to the bottom you have to enter those three left to right on a dial but you have to have the prison warden's key in order to open it um, and I'll have uh, one of my videos for my map walkthrough I'll explain how to get that also those will be coming here in the next few days also Stay tuned for those, and I'm going to have a uh, achievement guide for the um, Pop Goes the Weasel achievement and the Complete the Cycle achievement. I don't remember the uh, names of them, sorry about that, but um, I'll have those in some gameplay here in the next few days. Also, <laughs> oh, I've got a lot plan to finish up in the next few days I'm gonna be busy with those I really want to try and do a full map walkthrough also and just explain the key parts of the map uh, the best way to kill the prison warden and all that so, uh, when I get the chance I'm gonna try to do all those and this zombie right here, I was just keeping him in here for a moment until those guys finished up what they were doing. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this a little bit. Okay, there we go. And I didn't really have a plan for what I was doing right now. I was just kind of following these guys around a little bit. And going around the map and looking at everything, seeing if there was anything that I missed. We're headed down here. I think one of those guys had to get Turgonog, maybe. I don't remember all of the details of this game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut off this video here in about a minute and a half or so. And I'm just going to fast forward going down to the docks here. Oh, that's right. We had to finish off this dog down here. I forget about that. I'm going to finish feeding him and then we'll go grab the Hell's Retriever. That might be in this video. Or maybe it was on another game. I'm pretty sure it was on this game. But if not, then I will have a tutorial on how to get that really soon. Because that deal is really nice. And I also heard a little bit. I was playing on Xbox Live earlier. Some guy told me something about a golden spork or a golden... Yeah, it was a golden spork that you can get so I'm gonna look into that a little bit and try to figure out how to get that if I can figure that out then I'll put a video up on that if it's true 
that'll be pretty soon also, hopefully. That guy told me it was a one-shot kill as long as he made it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he was just really bad and didn't make it very far, or that thing's amazing. Hopefully, I can figure out how to get that. I'll try to have a video up on that soon, guys. And we're at the end of the round pretty much now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. And I will have part three up tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.